Alrighty, hello everybody, welcome back to Slime Rancher today. So, I think I'm going to actually start stockpiling a few Q-berries, because I realized something. We didn't actually, uh, I guess, pop open the, uh, whatchamacallit, the Phosphor Largo, or Phosphor Gardo, sorry. Also, we didn't get to make any Saber hybrids last time as well, so I want to do that at some point today also. So let's go ahead and get things started with good old harvest. And get these guys nice and fed. I'm hoping to get a few of the drones soon. I'll start storing some of this extra food in the whatchamacallit. In the lab. These guys are good, right? Yeah. I'll go ahead and start storing some of the food now. Audio's pretty good. Great. Thanks for giving me in the loop there. So it seems like 90 is the audio level that it's good at normally. Okay, where did I... There's fruits. That's right, and then there's the, gu the guild of ginger there. So, veggies are there. Fruits are right here. And then put all those. Okay, so what do we need for anything. We got the butterscotch warp pipe. We do still need to unlock the treasure pod stuff. That's another thing that I want to do at some point soon. So let's go ahead and finish off feeding these guys and let's explore the desert. Because we've still got a few plots of land here that we can use. As long as we get something that well, eats veggies, we should be able to use the extra carrots from here. Alright, you guys are nice and fed. These guys seem to be doing okay, but let's make sure that they are great. Alright, and just so everyone knows, there's going to be a little bit of, like, some extra content going to be coming out over the weekend, so make sure to keep an eye out for that. Just as a little kind of test thing, I'm making two short videos that are going to come out uh, over the weekend. So I hope you all enjoy that, and... I'm going to pop these in here. Alright. Got some nice food storage here. And let's go over to the desert. Because I know that there's like... I think it was three new slimes that are in the desert. That we can make some good old Largos of. Alright. Oh, we've already gotten a new quest here. Let's take one from Victor. Alright. Ooh. Crystal and Rad Slimes. I think we can get both, actually. Let's let's try to complete Victor's quest quickly. And then we explore the desert. You know, if we get another key, we're able to open the uh, teleporter... No, the teleporter. The door from this side. Inside of the caverns area. We need Rad Slimes and Crystal Slimes. Also realize that I am very low on water. Alright. Excuse me, everyone. Thank you. There's a Rad. Thank you. Alright. So let's see if there's any Rads across the way here. And let's... Rocket jump across... There's a rad here. Ow. There's a rad here. I'll take you. These two can be free. And let's head over here to the Crystal Island. I think he needed like six Crystal Slimes, didn't he? I can't remember, but I know he unlocks a cool minigame once we actually were to do this quest. All right. Excuse me, Crystal Slimes. That one seems quite hungry. That's a... Gonna make sure that they don't explode on us. Gonna eat that. Alright, any more small slimes? There's one. Aha, I almost missed it. Alright, so where are the rest of them? Oh. Oh, really? That was just rude. <laughs> the game was like, here, have a gold slime. Nope. Well, either way. Cool that we found one. Unfortunate that, that we couldn't, you know, actually feed it. 
Ow. Oh, nope. Okay. Not what we needed. There's a tar somewhere. I can hear it. Yep. And take out these guys. Any crystal slimes? No. Nope. Alright. There's an explosion. That's about it. Oh, another tar. And pop that guy. And... Oh, there's a crystal. Over here. Alright, I think we have enough crystals. Now we just need rad. It's just a lot of food. Alrighty. I think we can find some more rads on the way back. So I'm not all too worried about them. These guys look really cool, though. Hello there. Wait, I can hold them without getting irradiated? That's nice. You're coming with me, buddy. Oh, wait, there's a separate area over here that I didn't know about. Ow. Alright. Ouch. Is there any... Crystal and or rad slimes? Wouldn't, ha wouldn't hurt to have a few extra... Alright, so... Uh, it doesn't look like there's any more over here. Oh. Secret zone. I didn't even know that this was here. Oh. It's one of the, like, super high level treasure pods. We're definitely going to need to come back here later with that. Because right now, the only uh, treasure cracker level we have unlocked is level one. That is a lot of tars. Don't think I have enough water for all of them. Nope, I do. Okay. I was worried there for a second. <laughs> Alright, so let's head back and try to collect some rad slimes along the way. Alrighty. I hear more tars. There. Easy to spot. What is unfortunate is that I'm swiftly running out of water. Uh, probably should try to pick some up at the pond on the way back. It's this way. Yoo-hoo, rad slimes. Anywhere? N not even a single rad. Oh, there's one. I think we just need one more now. Alrighty. There's a lot of the rock pink Largos here, so I'm just gonna get out of here now. Hmm. Looks like a secret over there. I should probably try to find a way over there. But first, we need water. And rad slime. That's rad boom. Okay. Are the rad boom slimes just nuke slimes? I mean, <laughs> let's just be real. They're... The radiation and a, an explosion. I think that's kind of funny to think about. Alright, so where is... Got another box. Can this give rad? No. I'm going to try to fly over to that little gap that was over here. Now, I probably should go and deposit all these guys first. I thought... I could have sworn I missed that one there. Ow, okay. Is there another tar somewhere? Nope. Alrighty. So, either way, let's go on and get back to base and get this started. The Fashion Remover Pod. Cool. Don't know how I unlocked that or why, but hey. Are these guys hungry still? No. So, let's go on and deposit these guys into the quest machine. I think we just need one more rad slime just in general for this. Don't we? Yeah. Oh, we, we only need five of the crystal ones. So the rest of them can be returned to their home with the slime sea. Alright. Let's I'm debating on whether or not I want to go and grab the last rad slime. I think I will. Just so we can go in and get that quest done and we can unlock all the mini games. Because we just need that uh, master level Gardo Snare. And then 
We go in and use that Gilded Ginger, and boom, we've got ourselves a Golden Gardo. Which is gonna, like, it's just gonna be a really cool thing to have on the base. I'm debating on where we should actually keep our Golden Gardo. And should he be, like, right there next to the house, or should he be, like, somewhere else? No, I see that over there. I'm gonna try to fly to it. Because this looks secretive over here. I thought I saw a rad slime in the water. So what is over here? Oh! A rad gardo. Oh yeah, I completely forgot that this guy was here. Uh, where is the exit, though? That's right, it pops out right over here. Alright. Last rad slime obtained. And let's take the safer way back now. If I remember correctly, we end up right in the cave again. Yep. Nice. So, we found a new Gardo to go in and explode. I think we've got enough Aka Aka to blow it up. I'm not sure, though. I should probably check that. But, now that it's turning nighttime, we should probably go in and check out the desert. Right, so this gives... Ooh, this actually gives the spike, the spiky pears. All things that we need. The prickle pear. Let's actually start growing some of these over here. Because this is going to be where we have all of our uh, desert slimes. Let's go ahead and garden with nutrient soil and sprinklers and prickle pear. So this should be good. And then all we need to do is dump off the roostros, sell this crystal plort, and head to the desert. Right, let's head off that. Go ahead and plop these guys in here. And let's get to the desert. If I'm not mistaken, I can take this teleporter over here to right in front of the jungle. And then all I've got to do is navigate my way through the uh, ruins. I know I need a teleporter to get there easily. So... That'll probably be another goal for later. To make a teleporter straight to the... Or straight to the end of the ruins. Alright. For now, though, it's dodging these guys. I kind of wish I had a third-person view so I could see all of them exploding behind me. But either way. So we've got these prickle pears. I think a couple of the slimes in the desert like the prickle pears. If I'm not mistaken, it was the Dervish Slime that liked them. I'm trying to remember. Hmm. Well, I guess we'll just see when we find them. Because I remember there was Dervish, Mosaic... Uh, what were the other ones? There was Tangle that was here in the desert. And then there was the uh, Fire Slimes. All of which are just really cool. Alright, so now we've just got to navigate through, and hopefully we'll get there before we are needed back at base again. I think we can just kind of parkour across the top here. Alright, let's go ahead and jump around over here. You try not to sprint, so I can actually save up enough jetpack fuel. What the heck was that? This tabby song got yeeted across. Alright, so let's get down here. There's the boom gardo. Wait, why is there a door thing here? Oh, was this to get over to there? Uh, okay. Alright, I think we need this open. But we also need... That guy gone. Wait, then how did I get to the desert last time if... Oh, yeah, that's right. The bridge back here. Alright, so let's... Levitate across. Wait for some stamina to regen. And then... Sayonara. Alright. So we should be able to make it from here. Yep. Yep. 
Alrighty. And now we just need to cross the bridges over to there. Alrighty. Almost there. Just gotta jump across here. Now I know that there is a few of the uh, chickens, like new types of chickens that are there in the desert as well. If I'm not mistaken, they were called uh, painted hens. Alright. So. Let's hop on into the teleporter again. And see the desert. Alright. What do we got in here? It doesn't look to be firestorming right now, which is good. We do have to be very careful when firestorms start. But first of all, we need to water these. So that way we can start getting safe spots. These need water, right? What is it, uh, the special water? Hmm? Un Hold up. What? I hear that sparkling sound again. Another Gilded Ginger? Okay. These are supposed to be really rare game. Not giving out like candy. But thank you anyways. <laughs> so where is... I remember there was like a magical water fountain thing that we could get to. If it comes down to it, I've got normal water to extinguish some fires. Right, so there's the rock slimes. There's one of the new ones, the dervish. Alright, so I'm gonna try to stay over here and figure out where the special water is. I'm more surprised at the fact that I found a second Gilded Ginger. <laughs> Alright, so where is anything? Actually, I think this is a Tangle Gate. I think we need a Tangle Port to get in there, or to open it at least. It probably opens up the special water that's up here, I think. I think it's up here. Doesn't have to check. Hello? Anything up here? Let's float across. Oh, there's the uh, Dervish Gardo. Let's go ahead and feed him up. Like fruits. And you can have all my uh, prickle pears. You're not taking my Gilded Ginger, though. Alright. So I think there's something in there. Let's check it out. Is there anything in here? Yeah, I think this is where that uh, magical water spawns. But we need to turn on those uh, tangle gate things. So we should probably try to find a tangle slime. I'm looking around to see if there's anything. Nope. Bunk. And. Uh, there's some more of the rock slimes. Do not fall down there because that is an instant death. If I'm not mistaken, around here is where the main firestorms start. Hmm. Oh, here's a tangle. It's just a tangle gardo. I think this actually is a teleport back to base, which is handy. Don't mind the storms, that's just dervish slimes. Pick up one of these. Two of these, actually. And we need to try to find... Ooh, this is new. Not new, but I know of. I just can't remember what's in it. Nebula Dervish Slimes. That's cool. Alright, so let's go ahead and get to feeding some slime. Oh, there's the map. Alright, looks pretty good. It's gonna feed this guy something so we know where he is on the map. Actually, no, I think this was the way to continue. Actually, no, the way to continue is there. Uh, where is that magic water here? Because I know that we can fix those up. Hmm. 
Is there like a button thing somewhere that I gotta press? Hmm. I mean, there's these, but I'm not sure what they're actually symbolizing here. Either way, it is gonna be very dangerous once a firestorm starts. Should probably start looking around and see if there's any of those, uh, like gate. Okay, there's a firestorm. We have to be very careful that we don't get erupted on. In fact, I'm gonna come and hide over here with the guard out. That way I don't get it. Oh, wait. No, that's a rock slime. I thought it was a tangle. Let's get up here. Hello, buddy. I'm just gonna hide on top of you. Never mind, you're too tall. Alright, so... Oh, wait, there we go. Haha. -ha. Right, we may not be safe here, after all. Um... Is there... Uh, any way... To not get erupted with this Gilded Ginger? Well, there's some of the Fire Slimes. <laughs> it's getting tossed around. I think the best thing to do here is wait. I don't think they're an insta-kill. And I don't think they erupt right here either. So I guess the best move is to just sit still and wait. Alright. Whoa. Anything happening out here? Other than, you know, butt tons of fire. Whoa. Alrighty then. Probably not the best conditions to explore in right now. We do have to be careful of those, like, glowing light things as well, because they explode. Yeah. Let's pick up a fire slime quickly. Because they start to extinguish themselves once... The the firestorm's out. Alright. Let's pick up another dervish. Oh, wait. In here was that uh, magical water supply, wasn't it? I think there was another gate system thing, though. Oh, there was a door in here. Oh, this one needs rock plorts. We saw some rock slimes outside. Alright, so, if I'm not mistaken, the water is down here. Yeah, right here. So, we need to get three rock plorts. Should be simple enough. We just need to make, or find, some rock slimes that didn't die in the massive eruption. Alright, actually, there's one. So, we need some vegetables are going to be in short supply here. Unless I find a tangle slime and feed it that. So, what do we do? We need either uh, prickle pears, which I don't think spawn here until we get the water. Oh, wait, no, there's some food. I am uh, sorry, fire slimes. We need rock quartz. Alright. You eat. Thank you. I'm also going to say goodbye to the painted hens for now. So we need one more plort. But I think he's too full. Out. Nope. Still hungry. Alright. This should be enough to go in and open up this one. And then if I'm fast, I can sprint out of here with all of the water... Because we do actually have a time limit on the special water before it just turns back into normal water. Alright, so there's one. Two. There's this one over here. I'm just gonna fly up to it so I don't miss. And there should be one more. What was it? Wasn't it over here somewhere? Where was it? Got this here, was it? No, there's that one. That one, that one. Is that it? 
Oh, it was, okay. Well, then I guess I'll drop that off there. So, if we grab some of this ancient water and sprint like our lives depend on it because it truly does, water this, we have a protected zone. Gonna spray this one and this one. One hit it. There we go. So these make little oases for the different slimes to spawn. Unfortunately, yeah, we didn't make it to this one up here. But we should have enough time if we go back and grab some more. But now we've got like fruits growing in here. All of that. So we are going to bring life back to this place. I think we can also get water from the main source in the middle here. Oh. Alright. And now we've got mosaic slime spawning, which I will not bothered about grabbing because these guys are actually really cool and their uh, secret style is also really cool I remember that one in particular it's the shattered style all right let's rock it to the other side all right I uh, probably should have taken the other way all right keep running so we're gonna try to get the one that's up here Come on, 11 seconds. Boom. Alright, anything else need a watering? Alright, not here. Seems we're good right now. So we've gone ahead and protected this whole area. Well, mostly. We, we do still have little napalm slimes here, basically. By the way, we can blast little colorful things out of the sky with water, and they won't explode. Oh. Alrighty. So, and I think, if I'm not mistaken, we can get water from this. No? Okay. Now we need to find some Tangle Slimes, which I think spawn up here. Any Tangle Slimes? Yep, there's one. These guys eat meat, so I'm going to go ahead and toss the dervish. Hello there, Tangle Slime. Let's go ahead and toss the heartbeats here for a second. You can find the chickens that I think got killed. Alright. Got a rustro, that's fine. And another rustro. Any more rustros? No, but we have this. Wait. There's another twinkling sound. It Another Gilded Gin? Did they make these less rare? Or am I just getting absurdly lucky? Whatever it is, I'm going to take these two back to the base. And I'm going to go ahead and make some Tangle Mosaic slimes. I think... I'm going to check the Slimepedia quickly. What do the Mosaic slimes eat? They eat veggies. The Silver Parsnip. So we should probably grab... Instead of mosaics, let's grab dervish. Where are the dervish? Because we can always come back and grab more mosaics. And... The dervish... Are actually... Already have a favorited food back at the base. Those... Uh, prickle pears that we got from the quest. So let's just uh, take a quick jaunt back to base. And we should... If I find another Rustro, I should actually be able to open the water that's over here at the start of the area. So that if we end up coming here during a firestorm, we can just duck and cover. Alright, so let's yoink up this guy. Don't worry, buddy. You'll have a well-fed home soon. So, if I go in and shoot out the Tangle Slime... Shoot it with some chickens. Whoa. That's right, it does that. Alright. Tangle Plort and the slime. So let's come over here and plop that in. I think it needs three. But I'm not sure where the rest of the little openings are. Oh, here's one. Alright, let's send them out. Nice. No, 
he's too full right now, so we'll just have to take him back to base and go to and give him a nice home until he gets hungry again. Alright. So let's get out of here with our two Gilded Gingers. I, I should probably check the wiki to make sure that I'm not just being stupid here and they actually made him, like, way more common. But... <laughs> I found it, it took me a couple hours to find my first Gilded Ginger in my normal playthrough. The fact that I have found three before day 20 is insane <laughs> because I'm on day 80 on my main file and <laughs> I still have only found one Gilded Ginger. <laughs> so, this is just getting absurd. Alright, so, let's not incinerate the Gilded Gingers here, let's go ahead and uh, plop those in there, and then we're going to make our Tangled Dervish Largos, we may need a little bit more money before we do this, oh what, wait, whoa, 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 why are these guys jumping to high, they are hungry. Let's feed them immediately, because if they escape, we are screwed. Please no escaping, please no escaping. Could have sworn I fed these guys. Alright, eat, eat, eat everything, now. Alrighty. Let's go and make sure that everybody else is fed quickly. All these Q-berries, looking good. These guys hungry? Yeah, they're definitely hungry. Alright, sorry about that to everyone in here. Let me make sure that they are all well, well fed. <laughs> that is a lot of Aka Akas. There's just a tornado of Aka Akas in my face. Alright, so I'm just gonna dump these off in this corral. Now I'm really worried about the uh, quantum slimes, because if all these guys got this hungry, there's no telling what they could have been doing. Alright, we gotta run. Make sure that the quantums are all still here. These guys are here. Alright, all these guys still seem to be pretty okay, but just to make sure, let's go ahead and gun them down with food. Alright, everyone eat, everyone eat. Alrighty. This is good. Alright. We're good. <sighs> I was worried there. Let's go on ahead and pick up all these. And then... Ooh, blue Warp Depot. That works. Let's go ahead and plop all these into here. Gray Warp Depot. Hmm. Interesting. So let's go ahead and I don't think we have enough to go ahead and actually make the new uh, what you call it. The new corral. So let's go ahead and use some of these rock plorts here and we should have enough from selling all 50. And we should be able to make a fully upgraded one for Dervish Tangle Largos. Ooh, both of those actually sell for quite a bit. So let's go on ahead and do this thing. Alright, so right here. Corral with definitely high walls, definitely air net, floor collector, don't have enough money. Well, that's fine. And four, and Tangle. Let's pick up all these Prickle Pears here and give these guys a feast. Right, you, you, welcome to the crew, everyone. Alright, there goes eating one of these. Oh, look at him! So cute! <laughs> Alright, so those guys eat meat and fruit. 
And I'll probably try to reach out here and grab some of these chickens, now that I'm thinking about it. It's so cool how they can just levitate on their little tornadoes. Alright, so we just need to wait for this guy to get hungry. Let's go on ahead and try to sell... Actually, let's go ahead and sell a few of these dervish plorts, since we're not really needing them. Then we should be able to go ahead and finish off this... This corral here. So we got 14 dervish plorts right here. And another two gilded ginger that are... To, to think that I have three gilded gingers already is just absurd. But let's, I guess, go on ahead and buy both the music box and the plort collector. And we almost have enough to unlock the drones, if I'm not mistaken. Or did we already buy the drones last episode? I can't remember. Well, we've already got a quest. Let's do Ogden. We need phase lemon, mint mango, and odd onion. Interesting, but I'm going to go on ahead and say I've got other stuff to do. All right, now that everyone has been nice and well fed, making sure here. Let's go ahead and see if we can craft up some drones. Hmm. Are the radioactive mixed with the fireflies? That's actually a good question. We could check that out. And we didn't get the drones? Oh, we, we unlocked it, we just didn't craft any. What do we need to craft those? Drones, we need Hunter... Hunter... Jeez. Hunter, Quantum Honey, uh, Wild Honey, Jellystone, and Hexacomb. That's right, I set down one of those apiaries. And no, I cannot grow Gilded Ginger. It is unfortunate. But, I guess it makes sense since it's so, so rare. Plus, it's a golden plant. It's not like you can grow gold on trees. But then again, I mean, we do grow other things on trees. Like, you know, radioactive fruits that phase in and out of dimensions. <laughs> so, thinking about what to do here. Let's hop back to the desert. If I find another Gilded Ginger, I'm going to be impressed, but the main goal here now is, actually, I can grab some of these Tangle Plorts here. I just need these two. Thank you. Alright, so now I'm going to leave these guys to become, uh, you know, all mixed together. And the Tangle Plorts here are going to go towards unlocking the, like, the springs in the starter area. Alright, bunch of things, bunch of things, hello, hello. Excuse me. Alright. So we made it through. I've got a lot of food this time for things that, well, I guess are hungry. So I'm trying to remember, I think, yeah, the mosaics were vegetable lovers. So we can definitely go in and just feed the ever-loving heck out of a, a mosaic slime. But I'm not all too worried about the carrots, that's why I'm just carrying them around. Just a little bit of extra ammo. And I'm going to go and grab that a little bit later. The apiary that we left behind a little bit later. Because if I die over here, I don't want to lose all of the stuff. And uh, I can't just send it straight back unless I make one of those warp depot things. In which case, I need a strange diamond. Which is one of those, you know, one in a hundred chances from a random drill anywhere, which sucks, but it will happen eventually. So let's get across. Ooh, we got the advanced stuff now. Hold on. It's actually really good. Because we needed the advanced stuff to go in and, well, I guess, get more stuff. Let's wait for this to regen, and then I fly. Should also unlock the drill as well. No? Is that not what happened? Alrighty. Well, either way. Did we unlock the drill or did I just, like, not see it or something? Well, 
Either way. So we need to craft some drones pretty soon. If I'm going to be going on long excursions like this. Alright. I should be able to set up the... I guess protective oasis area. At the start zone now. Actually, the tangle... No, tangle doesn't eat... Uh, vegetables. Alright. Not firestorming, which is good. You'll be able to see, like, a red tint if it was getting ready to firestorm. So let's come down here and see where those last couple, I guess, gate lock things are. Let's see if we can't hear the, the sparkly sound anywhere. Alright. I'm keeping an ear out even over the, the background music here. Alright, so there's one... There's one more somewhere. The question is where? I feel like it could be back up there. Like near the actual, I guess, device. The fountain thing. There's something back here. The answer is nothing. I thought the cactus was a tangle slime. So let's climb up here, and we should be able to do the whole get across the chasm, and then fly back over. Alright, so we need to get up to here. Nope, okay. Let's wait for our booster. And... Oh. Whoopsie, didn't set my BGM up right. I should have known. Alright. There we go. All set up again. So now we just hop up here, hop up here. And then across. Let's not go fully across yet because I don't think we have enough power. Sit and wait for this. And we should be good now. Because there's the tangle. No, not tangle. It's dervish. I don't see the lock there, so let's... Oh, wait. Is it already open? No. So there is one more. Just where is it? Is it on top of the building here? Oh, there it is. Alright. So that is that water supply open. Let's go on ahead and do a run right here. Was that one good? And there. Alright. I think that's all of them that are right here. Because I don't remember there being any other little flower things over here this way. Alrighty. So now that we've got so much progress here, I think we should try to pop that Tangle Slime. Hmm. Or maybe the Dervish Slime. I think we may have an easier time with the Dervish. We just grab a whole bunch of these pickle... Uh, pickle. The Prickle Pears. And eat some of those. If there was only a Mosaic one, we'd be fine. Because I've got... 35 carrots on me right now. Uh, is there anything here? Some more fruits. You can see there. Also, as an extra fun little fact, the tars actually also die in this kind of force field barrier thing. They take uh, damage over time. Wait, watch this. Come on this way. Try to get me. See how it's taking damage? Boom. It's just kind of... Like a super safe. It's just kind of nice. Alright, see there's some more Taurus dying. Boom. What the heck is that? 
Hello. Oh, it's the little water spot here. Hey, we got more Tangle Slimes. Nice. More Tangle Buddies. Oh. <laughs> Just threw that one. But yeah, there's definitely a whole lot of, like, different slimes here. Okay, now I got the advanced drill. Why? I'm so confused. But, either way. Basically, since there's so many slimes that spawn here, there's going to be a butt-ton of Tars. Alright. So I'm trying to think, where is more fruits? Because we definitely need more. Oh, that is cool looking. Um... Oh, more water. Don't see any more fruits in here. Nothing. Alright. Well, we should probably grab some more prickle pears and stuff. I don't think there's another way to go until we pop one or two of these Gardos. Unfortunately, this one's locked behind the... Well, my least favorite food to use, which is the chickens and all that. This is a pretty cool vantage point. We just need another key to get in there. So... We could go and try to pop one of the uh, other Gardos that drop keys. Or we can just go in and get enough fruit to go in and pop the Dervish Gardo. Which should be also fine. Alright. I don't really have anything to mix with the mosaics right now. Oh, here was one. Am I supposed to grab the water from over there again? I think I am. Alright, looks like it's a mad dash, everyone. So you go from there, straight through here, and straight to there. In what? 25 seconds? 30 seconds? Alright, well, let's test our luck here. And patience, because I need to wait for my regen. Alrighty. So, basically, we need to get up here now. Alright, up we go. Oh, Firestorm. That's not good. Uh, I just need to do this. Please, game. Don't fire snipe me. Actually, I could jump from here. Okay. Let's grab the water and then mad dash across. Alright. Nope. Reset the timer. If you grab some more, you just reset the timer. Right, there it is. Come on. Boom. And we are safe. Alrighty. Wow, lots of guys here. Hmm. Thought I heard some, like, jingly noises. Anything crazy over here? Hello? There's a dervish. <laughs> Hi there. So I'm going to leave the mosaic slime over there. There's a lot of fusions going on behind me. Alright. Waiting for a fire slime to spawn. Oh, there's one. I hear another sparkly noise. Where? Where is it? Okay. So let's go ahead and bring these fiery buddies back to base. I feel like three is a good number for them. I don't think we're getting three. <laughs> we have to find one before they despawn from being out of the firestorm. There's one. Hey there, buddy. Ow. Fire hurts. <laughs> so let's get back. I am going to check the place for the Gilded Gingers again, just in case I <laughs> find another Gilded Ginger. Wait. Ow. 
Oh, the sparkly noise is coming from the slime. Alright. Let's check up here, see if there's anything up here. No, next I'll come back with some uh, chickens. But I'll probably wait to do that for next episode. So, yeah, I'll, I'll go ahead and get back to base and get these fire slime guys set up. Then I'm going to end off the stream. Hold up. No way. Another gilded ginger. Why? Why are they always here? Okay. I'm going to check this before I end off the stream. I'm going to get back to base, set up the fire slimes, deposit my fourth gilded ginger. <laughs> okay. This is just getting absurd now. Um, the fact that they're all showing up where I could get to them, first of all. Second of all, the fact that they're showing up at all, because I think it's like a 1% chance every day that they show up in only one of the spawn points. That is if I'm not mistaken. I could very well be mistaken. Let's go ahead and put down our fiery buddies in here. Nope. Alright. Toss him into the incinerator. Ow. Why? I'm trying to give you a new home. Stop jumping out at me. Ow. Love your new home. Alright. Oh, that was more of a hassle than I thought it was gonna. Pick up these. There should be like an auto plort collector for this. Right, thank you, everybody. Is there anything that I can do? No. Is there anything for this? No. Alright. That's right, the Gilded Ginger. So let's go on ahead, plop this into here, and then I'm going to check this before I end off the stream. Let me just pull up the wiki here. Slime Rancher Wiki. Alright. So, reading this off the wiki here, we're going to Gilded Ginger. When exclusively in the glass desert, only two can appear per day. When in the ground, it will produce a glimmering sound. The favorite food of gold slimes. So it only spawns in two places per day, and I found at least one of them for three days. Okay then. Well, I'd like to thank you all so much for watching, and I'll be seeing you all in the next one. Bye everybody!